Douglas County, where people living in part of University City are thankful for a breath of a breath of fresh air. Today, the city finished cleaning out a closed supermarket reeking of rotten fish. Melanie Johnson reports on the expensive cleanup job, leaving taxpayers on the hook. Dumpsters full of garbage now sit outside this empty seafood city market on the final day of cleanup. Also, the same day, U City was able to pick up the key to this now condemned building. I tried wearing two masks, I'm pretty sure, and it just still hits me continuously. David Lee lives next to Seafood City Market and is overjoyed the smell of thousands of pounds of dead fish have been washed away. Extremely happy. Such a bad time. Health department shut down Seafood City in December 2022. However, the market was caught selling food this past March. But I can't even go out because uh, the smell just so punctuating. I don't know, it just hits you right in the face. We had to act on this. I mean, we couldn't wait for the property owner to. The smell exterminated out of the neighborhood thanks to this hazmat crew. First Alert 4 saw cleaning out the mess in September. One of the worst cleanups that this company has had. Planning and Development Director John Wagner says University City had to foot the bill. $127,000. Because the out-of-state property owner could not afford it. Frustrated that the, that the that Seafood City folks and the property owners didn't, uh, didn't take care of it themselves. The cleanup process could cost even more. The owner will see a lien on the building of up to $150,000. He'll have uh, a lot of work to do in order to get ready to do something else with the building, and hopefully they'll be able to. A fishy situation now dead and gone for those living in the area, ready for life to go back to normal. It's going to be like a blessing just to go back out outside again. As for what's next, U City tells me they plan to sit down with the owner to discuss future possibilities for this building. But that owner lives in California. We'll continue to stay on top of this developing story. Reporting in U City, Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. And we do know this the building's owner and Seafood City will be in court next week for a hearing on the business's missing rent payments.